Hello and welcome to Culture Shock on FCTV. I am your host, Grace, and our show on our show today is Taylor. Hello, Taylor. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming today. Alrighty. So we're just going to get down to some questions about your photography. Yes. So first question, where is your favorite place to shoot? Um, well, I do really love having the control of my studio. Mm -hmm. I can control the lighting. I can control the weather in there. It's oh. really great. But I do also really love getting outdoors. Mm -hmm. And my favorite place to shoot right now is actually the Antelope Valley Poppy Reserve out here um, outside of L.A., about two and a half hours from Orange oh. County. Um, it's just gorgeous in the spring. All of mm. these poppies around and the sun sets there are just spectacular and so I love taking my friends out there and going and shooting out there oh yeah that does sound really beautiful yeah. oh yeah I, I just the naturalistic um, like aspect of it all really brings out the mood I'm guessing absolutely and there's rolling hills it just um, a lot of it kind of calls back to the romanticism Aww. of like painters like Turner um, I I'm kind of an art history nerd so anytime <laughs> I can take someone out into nature into a national park like Yosemite and just show you know the scale of a person next to the grandeur of mm. nature I love doing that or if I don't have access to that I love being in my studio oh absolutely <laughs> yeah <laughs> so do what are your favorite color schemes color schemes to shoot in um, I like doing stark colors so colors that don't necessarily work on the color wheel they're kind of either opposite and um, they just look a lot more bold uh -huh. in camera and um, oh. I also love shooting black and white portraits those are <laughs> very fun and I tend to do that a lot when I'm just messing around in the studio I like doing kind of old Hollywood glam portraits <gasps> oh so I love that <laughs> very my, vintage -y. my friends do too they are always signing up to help me with those so I'm oh. appreciative I don't blame them <laughs> I don't blame them at all so do you prefer sharing your photos, staging them, or having them candid? Um, well, most of the work that I do, I am a portrait photographer. So mm. we do mostly senior portraits for high schools and mm. colleges. So a lot of that is more traditional, posed. Um, but when I'm working in the studio, I was in there just yesterday. And what I found, people are a lot more comfortable if I just tell them, to sit in a chair rather than I'm not going to have you do a glamour pose like this, mm -hmm. right? So I have a specific pose in mind, but I let them settle into it so it seems a lot more casual, a lot more natural. Yes, because yeah. if they're ca if they're comfortable on camera, it's really going to it's really going to play out in their pictures and they're going to look a lot more like themselves and they tend to love those pictures more than something I made them do where they're contorted in some oh, weird wow. pose. So as, as long as their personality is coming through, they're going to love their pictures. Oh, absolutely. Saving them from the awkward selfie and like, you know, like the look of it. <laughs> yes. In senior years. Absolutely. absolutely. So um, before we get to more of the questions, we're going to take a quick break here. So we will see you in... Um, very soon so we can ask more amazing questions to Taylor here. Fantastic. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait either. <laughs> Alrighty, now that we're back, we're here to ask Taylor some more very interesting questions yes. with your very interesting answers. <laughs> um, so, um, back to it. What are some photographers that inspire you? 
So I know this is probably going to sound like the equivalent of asking a filmmaker who what directors inspire them and mm -hmm. them saying Steven Spielberg because they're really well known. But right. you know who inspires you is who inspires Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So Annie Leibovitz is a huge inspiration to me. Her portraits are fantastic. Her lighting is always so dynamic and so theatrical. Uh -huh. Um, I love her Disney portrait series. She uh -huh. takes celebrities and puts them into Disney scenes, and it's a it's a print ad that runs, but it, oh. they're all just so interesting, and she does all the Vanity Fair portraits, and everyone just looks so elegant. They're always supremely lit. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's iconic. <laughs> it, absolutely. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, Ansel Adams, calling mm -hmm. back to what I was saying about the romanticism uh -huh. of nature, just all of his portraits, um, which were all on film, mm -hmm. of you know, Yosemite, the national parks. I am so inspired by that work just because oh. it's it takes black and white photography to a whole new level, and it's something I aspire to, definitely. Absolutely. So it brings, like, originality content rather than just the black and white usual. Yeah, it's, it's, see. seeing, <laughs> it's seeing the parks that we know mm -hmm. um, in a whole different light both <laughs> like literally and figuratively. Literally and figuratively. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Alrighty, so next question. What is the cultural significance of photography to you? Well, photography is sort of like a time capsule mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. a lot of what we know about the culture mm -hmm. of past civilizations, past mm -hmm. cultures, even up until th the turn of the 20th century, a lot of what we know, I feel like, comes from photography. And in history classes, the pictures always resonated with me more than any of the text did. Uh -huh. um, things like historical events, like, I, I don't know, just some of the most stark images that remind mm -hmm. me of the past, those are kind of like cue cards in my head. So oh. photography, I think, can also, if you look at more... I guess travel photography or people going into places that are mm. maybe not necessarily as technolog technologically advanced, mm -hmm. um, you get a sense of what people look like and that's mm -hmm. not something that is necessarily the same in our culture so mm -hmm. you get a little bit more cultural understanding when it comes to other people that you don't run into in the day to day basis. Absolutely, so you get like a wide range of different cultures and different understandings of from these pictures, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's that's amazing. <laughs> so, um, what do you hope to do with your photography in the future? Um, I just hope to keep doing it. It's fun Aww. and I hope to make people uh, photography is such a subjective business absolutely. because you're selling people on themselves. Purely subjective. And yeah. that's not something that you can do with just a camera that mm -hmm. takes a lot of coaxing. So mm -hmm. I have, you know, shy high school students coming into my studio every day who are instantly like, I'm not photogenic. Mm -hmm. uh, these aren't going to turn out good. And then my goal is to make them feel as comfortable as possible, to have them have a little bit of fun with it mm -hmm. and walk out saying, oh, that wasn't so bad. Um, so ultimately to make people feel good about themselves. Oh, I think that's, that's my goal. Not just for yourself, but for others. And that's really where like the art derives from and probably why your your work is so amazing because it's for others. <laughs> well, yeah. It's also for me too. I'm a of little course. Selfish. You gotta, you I gotta, just gotta love be doing selfish. It. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it for you all. <laughs> um, alrighty. So what photography or what photographs have had the biggest impact on you? I think a lot of the work of Annie Leibovitz because I right because she's she's your biggest inspiration absolutely of with course. um you know she's created such iconic mm -hmm. pictures as the time cover with John Lennon and Yoko Ono I just love iconic images like that and I hope to create some of those maybe in the future absolutely I don't blame you so thank you so <laughs> much Taylor that thank was you. so much fun I'm afraid that's all the time we have thank you.